Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Review on the latest and coolest in social media and technology. Uh, this is some of the latest cool stuff to come out of Virgin Mobile. You can check out their website at virginmobileusa.com. That's virginmobileusa.com. They've got a new line of different 4G phones they're coming out with. One thing that is exciting, too, is they're... Their phones are prepaid, so you can don't have to worry about being burdened by a contract locked in to two years and all that sort of stuff that comes with contracts. <clears throat> They're also going to have the iPhone 4S coming out soon, so be sure to check that out. They're doing some really cool things with uh, phones and prepaid plans. So this works on the Sprint 4G network, so there's no contract involved. This is the HTC Evo 4G. So you've got an Android phone in here with the Android OS. Virgin Mobile Live, streaming music 24 7, uh, unlimited web data, messaging, and email on the plans. So, real easy. This is great for people that love not being bound to a contract. I mean, two years is a long time to ask somebody to sign up for stuff these days. And when you've got phones that are changing and new phones that are coming out so fast and cooler technology, this is great for someone who wants to be able to keep their options open. So, you've got a limited web data, messaging, and email on all your plans. You just pick the plan you want and start talking. No contract, no compromise is what they say here. Uh, this works with Sprint uh, on their network for 4G and also work for 3G. You've got uh, a 4.3 QHD touchscreen, a uh, mobile hotspot connected to five other Wi-Fi devices. This is great if you're going to be running iPads, laptops, all that sort of good stuff. Um, and gee, where you have unlimited data, I mean so many plans now and so many companies now are really gearing down what you can do for data and sharing. Uh, 5 megapixel camera and camcorder with 3D HD imaging. You've got a 4 to 3G and Wi-Fi capable phone so you can work them on all the networks that are out there. Uh, well, of course you're using this on Sprint I should say, but uh, you know, they'll move around. Uh, HD capable, or HDMI capable, excuse me, HDMI capable. So you can plug this in, plug into your HDMI TV, all that good stuff. Uh, you can see some of the different sides here. This is an Android phone. It's going to give you, memory wise, 8 gig uh, micro SD card that's included, supports cards up to 30 poor, 32 gigabyte. And you've got standby time up to 300 hours, which is 2.5 days. Battery talk time up to 360 minutes or 6 hours. Phone weight is 6.0. So, uh, Hey, wait, let's go ahead and open this baby up. So we played with it for a little bit earlier. You can see the back here. The hotspot for uh, devices is really cool. So looking in the packaging, it looks like that's pretty much it right there. You can see the package comes with nicely packaged up for you, so it's good to go. Let's go ahead and see if we can figure out open this baby. Okay, so we'll pull this open. You can see here we've got the phone itself there. Well, let's see what else is inside first. We'll quickly get through this. Looks like there's a hello pad with uh, some different things on it. Uh, basics guide on how to do your basics. Terms of service, phone insurance, some paraphernalia information there. Looks like we have the battery here. I can get it out. Can't quite pop it out. Looks like this is a return thing where if you want to recycle your phones, you can uh, take and do that. So that's smart. Always want to recycle these days. Looks like we've got some cabling. Most likely this cabling is for charging. Looks like we've got a micro USB cable from what I can see there. And then looks like we have uh, the micro SD cable also plugs into a plug where you can plug your phone into the wall. So there you go. Let's see if we can't pop this battery loose. There we go. So we've got the battery, very thin little battery. And the nice thing about that is, of course, if you want more backup batteries, you can buy them, have them at your disposal so that uh, you never run out of juice. Let's go and pop the phone out. And here's our phone. You can see it here. You can see the back of it. It's got an interesting, really cool 3G uh, HD imaging thing there on the back. And it looks like we've got some activation information there. It looks like we've got a uh, place micro USB to plug in the side and power charge data connect it. Looks like we've got your uh, earphone plug in the top and also probably a mic hole for the microphone power button here and then down the side we have your volume and rocker knobs I like these volume rocker knobs aren't that big there's some phones we've been testing out recently that have giant volume rocker knobs and just about every time you hold the phone it 
turns down the volume. Looks like we've got a camera mode. This is pretty interesting. We're going to have to find out what this is about. This is a camera mode of 2D and 3D. So we're going to have to learn what that's about. And then, of course, we've got the phone activation area here on the back. So we'll play with that. And what it does, in fact, we're going to peel that off because I want you to see what the back of the phone looks like. So you can see that HTC, really nice looking back of the phone. It's got kind of a rubberized back that uh, feels uh, pretty good and comfortable for being able to hold it. Looks like we've got some flash elements there in the middle. I imagine since this has two cameras, this will create a 3D effect. I'm guessing. I haven't played with the phone yet or read the manual, which is usually how we do things. Looks like you've got a button here on the bottom for taking pictures. Let's Okay, so we've gotten a chance to spend actually quite a few days with the HTC uh, phone, the HTC Evo V 4G for Virgin Mobile. Really like the phone. It's actually a little bit faster than in, in its operations than some other phones that we have from HTC, HTC recently that were issued that actually have larger uh, processors in them. So uh, it's kind of interesting how that came about, and we noticed that there's a, t a touch faster speed to it. Um, maybe it's just the bandwidth or or uh, has something to do with the internal uh, systems or wiring or whatever. I'm, we're not sure why, actually. Um, but we did notice it's plenty fast. It really rocks when it comes to speed. Um, and the product is pretty awesome. Um, one of the things, this, of course, has the Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 that's in it. It's got a 5-megapixel camera. Uh, it's got with 720 HD camcorder and 3D HD imaging. It's got a 1.3-megapixel front-facing camera. Uh, that you take and have there. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz processor with a 4.3 touch screen display. So you've got that that's in there. The one thing that was interesting um, is for 55 bucks, and you can have plans that are cheaper than that on the Virgin Mobile account, but for 55 bucks you can have unlimited talk, unlimited text, and unlimited data, which is pretty awesome. For additional 15 bucks, um, and of course these prices are subject to change from this recording, but uh, you can get hotspot. So it's got the ability to do a hotspot where you can set it up, you can run off your laptop and other phones, you can wire in and use the Wi-Fi. Uh, it's a great little device. It's got Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0, so it's got the latest uh, Android software on there. And uh, we really liked it. It was fun to play with. Uh, the one thing we really enjoyed about it, aside from you know most of the features you're going to get with the um, a Google phone, uh, with the Android, was the... 3D imaging that's in the back. Now, when we first got this, we were kind of like, 3D imaging, well, let's take a look at that, see what that's about. And of course, we have a switch on the back to switch between 2D and 3D. You've actually got a camera button here. And you can see here, there's two lenses, there's two flashes, there's even the small speaker for the HTC there on the back. You can barely see it. Um, which makes it nice and interesting because it, uh, it took us a while to figure out where the sound was coming out of it. Um, so it's, it doesn't get muffled when it sits flat. It's, the speaker is right here on the side. And uh, so if it's sitting on its flat back, it, you'll still get the sound out of it without having it muffled. Um, but with the HTC uh, 3D, uh, if you don't know, you can upload now th uh, 3D video into YouTube. And in doing so, you can uh, be able to broadcast 3D movies to your friends, neighbors, relatives, all that good stuff for whoever you want to share with. So we had a lot of fun with the 3D element and uh, we had a real kick out of it. Um, let me show you some of the stuff. Now what they've done is they've, they've made the screen so that you can actually see the three-dimensional stuff without having to have 3D glasses. And I'm not sure how much you're going to pick up on this because we've got blowback from, of course, glare on the screen and stuff. But if you can see, the dimensions are changing in the photos that I'm presenting to you here. These are all 3D photos. And I, I've uploaded the photos to um, I've uploaded the photos to um, YouTube and had some friends go on and watch in uh, 3D with 3D glasses and they said that the effect was really cool and they could see that. And I don't know if you can really tell there. You can see probably the screen moving around, but it will record video and photos in 3D. And we really thought that was cool. It was a lot of fun to play with that, and uh, we're probably going to play with it some more. Uh, one of the great features about the phone was the 3D thing, being able to make videos and photos. Um, one thing you can do, too, is you can download 
3D software off of download.com and when you sync the HTC device with your uh, computers you can take and see the photos in three dimensional. Now you would have to have the glasses to do it. So pretty interesting stuff and fun stuff there. We really like the HTC and how it worked. Um, it gave us great calling. We didn't have any problems with the service when it came to uh, talking to people. It's got a page down, page up way to it. Um, and uh, yeah, it pretty much rocked for us. I mean, for, for someone we expected uh, a system that uh, you know has a buy all and get all um, sort of process. Uh, it's pretty awesome that you can have a great phone like this that can have the speed. Uh, the calling was great. We didn't have problems with people hearing us. Uh, the video calling was awesome. We put Skype on it. We put Netflix on it. Watch movies. The movie was crystal clear. Great clarity. Um, what else did we do with it? We did a bunch of stuff. We put Skype on it. Video calling was awesome. Uh, we used Google Plus Hangouts. That was another thing that we used that we got great results with. People could see us just fine. There wasn't any problem with data transfer. And of course, you're doing a lot of video, especially with Google Hangouts, and it performed just awesome. So very impressed with it. We really like, of course, the ice cream sandwich, the Android product. Um, and it seems to be very fast delivery. HTC, of course, builds really good phones. The Sprint uh, network that it runs on with 4G uh, seems to really be the difference. Um, and uh, and uh, just a just a great phone all all the way around. So uh, I highly recommend you to check this out. I mean, you can save a lot of money. I'm looking at what I'm paying now for my phone service, and uh, and 55 bucks for Virgin Mobile. That sounds pretty darn good right now. Um, so uh, pretty awesome. And then you know the beautiful thing is you're free to do whatever you want with the phone. You don't have to. You don't have to be tied to a two-year contract and, and be locked in. So uh, it's a pretty awesome phone all the way around. I'd highly recommend you pick one up. And uh, be sure to watch your future videos. We'll probably be comparing it to the iPhone, Windows Phone, and a few other phones for fun so you can see how they match up and size up against some of the other phones and services. So we really like the phone. Be sure to check back off into the ChrisFossShow.com and be sure to go check out Virgin Mobile at VirginMobile.com and the uh, check out the HTC Evo 4 or Evo V 4G HTC Evo 4G at their website. Order yourself one up today and uh, start saving a whole bunch of money and have the freedom to do what you want. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for coming by the ChrisFossShow.com.